Speaking of hiring. Yep. They are as well. CDL driver, you want to make a change? Go by and see Josh in the pits. We'd love to chat with you. Spoke with Josh a little bit last week. And he honestly believes that they are on the cusp, breaking through for another win. Ron Douglas, the team behind that RNL machine, they have had a solid race car at times, just missing a little consistency, and they really believe that they're on the right track. And once they get that last little thing ironed out, they think they're going to be a threat to win. Maybe not just one, but even multiple races. You know, that's the thing lately about uh, Top Fuel, though, right? It's consistency in those one little things. That can really be the difference. When you have a field as tight as our top fuel field has really been all year, and you think about, all right, well, Justin Ashley's won a handful of races, right? Justin Ashley's won a handful of races. He's not the points leader. It tells you how tight top fuel's been all year. Yeah, it's crazy. Steve Torrance just won win, but he did take over the points lead when he got the trophy out of Seattle a week ago. So Clay Milliken, that's the Rick Ware Racing Team for Denzo, Parts Plus, and Josh Hart, the R&L Carriers Machine. That's looking a little better. How about a 376, 326 miles an hour? Josh Hart goes to the top. Clay Milliken goes 379 at 327 miles an hour. Both cars made well, pretty darn close to the same run. Josh a little bit quicker to 60 feet, and he carried that momentum all the way down to the finish line. We'll run down the numbers after we run down and hear from Joe. Here with team owner Rick Wares, now a two-time winner in the NHRA, sporting the Denso colors this weekend. How cool is it to have a couple of Wallys on the shelf? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, I, I wouldn't uh, have thought that, that was possible as soon as it happened, but these guys have worked really hard. We've really just uh, put a lot of effort into making sure we're making full passes, getting down the track. I think that has a lot to do with it. Rick Ware, those of you NASCAR fans in this part of the world, I'm sure you're familiar with that name. Racing is his business. He's a relative newcomer to the National Hot Rod Association, but as Joe Costello pointed out,